Not sure how he's comfortable like that. But he is. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys saw in earlier clips, I was working on the engine for my brother's CRV right here. I didn't really talk much about it. You guys probably have seen it in the background of several videos or maybe not. But uh, my brother bought this car a while back and um, it, it started having... A slight misfire issue so when I went to go check timing it's actually uh, skipped timing so uh, the last several of days my brother's been pulling the engine out and stuff like that he's been getting a lot of parts for replacement so I got to do a lot of this here uh, very soon but last night I was working on the engine in the garage like 10 o'clock I didn't want to use any of my impact tools so a lot of it were um, you know by the ratchet and um, I ended the night because I couldn't get the crank pulley bolt loose without using the impact so um, I still have to do all of this stuff and I'm um, not touching it today because I'm waiting for a head gasket then I'm gonna take the head off do the head gasket while I'm at it it's not a blown head gasket it's just skip timing so um, we're just gonna do the whole nine while the engine is out my brother decided he wanted to pull the whole engine out just to make everything easier of installation so um, he went and did all of that last week Washer and dryer is running so it makes noise, but I'm gonna touch bases on this really briefly. I got the transmission taken apart last night because I am gonna be doing the clutch as well. And then everything on the timing side, tensioner, uh, chain, head gasket, the water pump has already been done from the last owner. Other things like starter, alternator, we're gonna change all of that stuff out. But again, I'm not touching this today. Ball joints, tie rods, axles, all that stuff is gonna be changed as well too. But actually today, Tyga is doing some stuff at his house, so um, we're gonna go over there right now and see what they're up to and uh, give him a hand. Okay. See that guy right there? Got a head gasket delivery. Fuck oh. yeah! No fucking way. So thanks to my buddy Chewy, he just came through with a head gasket because cool guy doesn't have one. I told him to go buy it at NorCal Auto Styles, right? Which is local to us, about 14 miles. And instead, he wanted to go on eBay and order it there because it was on sale, right? Said two-day shipping was supposed to come in yesterday, which it didn't. And today, they're doing the motor swap without a head gasket. So, thanks to Chewy, he came through with this one. And uh, he said it was an 81 mil and a half, which you guys don't even know yet. Actually, you know, let me, let me kind of go through this real quick. If you guys have seen the track video, uh, the CRV only went down the track once. And the issue was... The crank pulley fell off, right? And it got damaged. So we 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 put it back on and then call it quits for the day. Because when the car was idling in the pits, this crankshaft was wobbling crazy, even with it being torqued down. And uh, we didn't want to risk it going down the track. But what we did do was, because we still had to go home, we pushed the CRV going home. Now the crankshaft pulley was super off balance, which destroyed the oil pump, which then spun a rod bearing and uh, pretty much toasted the B20. Which one is it? Cylinder one? So it's a four, three, two. Oh. Oh. They all move. Oh. They all move. Damn, you fast guy, bro. Fast guy. But. What he did pick up recently from one of my buddies, shout out to Rex, because his car got impounded. And uh, Tiger got a new motor, sleeve LS, piston rod setup. What, are you trying to go to the moon or what? Yeah, 450 plus. Ooh, 450 plus CRV, guys. <laughs> And it's gonna go all-wheel drive too. Y'all stay posted for that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button right now. I don't think I'm gonna show you guys too much of the process of installing all of this because we've shown this a million times before, but we are letting you guys know that the CRV is gonna be making a lot of progress here real soon. And this guy. Quit playing games, bro. So we moved, uh, 1,000 year later. Got the transmission and everything attached to the new motor. And it's ready to go up. Okay, guys, so a few hours have passed now. Well, not really a few hours, maybe like two hours, but 
uh, everything has been reinstalled into the CRV. Now we don't have the turbo kit because new block means new turbo kit and he has a new, or doesn't have a new turbo kit, but he has partial of the new turbo kit. And his current turbo kit is at this fool's house, but because his turbo kit is not complete, we can't turn the car on. Why? Because the turbo kit is 12 minutes from here. That's not that far. Right. So, um, right now, the only thing is left is the turbo setup, fluids, and battery charge pipe. But, I mean, if we're putting a turbo kit on. The other choice that we can do is throw the stock header back on, which is over there, and uh, load up, like, a stock map, and then adjust, obviously, um, the 450cc injectors. And we're also going to have to deal with, like, the feed line and all the extra vacuum lines and stuff if we decide to put a stock header on. But that's not what we're trying to do right now. So, Ricky is actually cleaning up. And he bought a head home because once he goes home, he's locked up, right? And then my cousin's, <laughs> and then my cousin's probably gonna follow him and snag the turbo kit so we can come back, finish it, and then uh, you know, try to get the thing fire on tonight. But we can't get it on the floor because that axle is broken and we don't have one, and it is on back order. Battery's dead. We'll see you guys in a second. So I think it's a normal thing now that uh, I actually carry a spare battery in my pocket, which I forgot about, and uh, my cousin just got back after like three hours and uh we finally got the turbo kit right here reinstalled sorry for the light uh, my phone's on 10 percent and that shit ain't helping so we're gonna bolt on the turbo kit and pretty much button up everything in the cooler charge pipe and all return line and the down pipe underneath the car and then my cousin has his laptop here we're gonna try to fire it over tonight and uh, adjust AFR accordingly if we have to, which I'm sure because it's an LSV tech, different compression ratio from the B20, and uh, try to get this thing back on the road very soon. Okay, quick little update for you guys here. Um, we're gonna try to fire the car without the radiator and stuff because we still gotta make a few changes over here on the return line because the Morosa oil pan actually has a bung that somebody welded in the center, right there and it's interfering with the downpipe. And we don't have the fitting for this guy right here, and that's the original um, like drain back, but we don't have that fitting. So right now we're just temporarily hooking everything up, um, you know, just uh, fire it tonight, and then we'll order some stuff tonight. Hopefully it comes in within the following week so we can button that up, and then button up the rest of the car. So um, right now, it's pretty much ready to fire. Just gotta do the fluids, hook it up to the laptop, and uh, see if it turns on. Oh, shoot. So we had the injectors and the distributor uh, disconnected so we can prime the oil through the system, and everything's reconnected. So whenever he's ready, we're going for it. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! And it sounds freaking awesome bro turbo is moving check it out check it out oh yeah baby oh yeah like butter baby like butter and that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys um we did a lot in the last several of days we went to mexico we went to track we came back and uh, got Tiger's car up and running again with the new motor. So you know what that means. This car is going to be seeing its way back to the dyno. And uh, you guys definitely hit the subscribe button if you guys want to see what the new setup is going to make. And be sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. But with that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I don't know about you. When this car make a lot of power and it's all over, I don't know what you're going to be trying to grab anymore. <laughs> Because <laughs> I was gonna grab it, so I'm gonna be like, bro. <laughs> we were in my car, fucking second gear, he was whatever, fine, right? He hit third gear and then boot kicking, he's off. You don't know what to grab. Because I, I never had that much power on. Let like your eyes already pop out of your head now. <laughs> okay, you should have seen what I saw when we were coming home that day. You <laughs> fucked your motor up. Nigga, you didn't know what to grab. Like, oh. Dude it, was, dude, it was dark. I was like this. I was just like, what the? It's called tunnel vision, bro. I, I was just like, I had to make sure I was there. there. <laughs> His mind was running in circles. It was going so fast. He didn't know how to process things. Like, he was like, I don't know what to grab. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs>